EFF Commander-in-Chief Julius Malema has given his first media briefing as his party's leader in parliament. Squarely in Malema's sights once again was DA leader Helen Zilla. He called her South Africa's number one... Yes! Oh, even Julius Malema admits, I am number one. Numerian, numero uno, numa eins. I hadn't finished. Malema called you South Africans number one racist. Oh, really? But, uh, well, anyway, uh, I'm a person who prefers to look for the positive things in life. Number one is still number one. But it doesn't really count if you're the number one racist. I'm sure the Honourable Malema made a mistake. After all, he is already on record saying that he would vote with the DA if we wanted to get rid of Jacob Zuma. Did someone say get rid of Jacob Zuma? Let's do it. Right here, right now. Honourable Mr Malema. Oh, damn. I'll never get used to this. Did you or did you not call Helen Zilla South Africa's number one racist? Uh, maybe. Either you did or you didn't. Come on, my boy, spit it out. Boy? Did you just call me boy? You are not even the number one racist in South Africa. You are the number that comes before number one. What is that number? What's this cocker here about Helen Zilla being South Africa's number one racist? That's my f***ing position. I worked hard for it and there's no f***ing way a liberal politician from the f***ing DA is going to take it away from me. Steve Hoffmeyer, the real number one racist. What was that? Some interference from TV Oranya or something. Mr. Malema, Miss Zilla, you were saying... If Helen Zilla takes over the government, she will take us back to the land of misery and pain. What land are you talking about? Sudan? Somalia? There will only be misery and pain in South Africa if you people keep voting for the ANC. You people? Haibo, if Helen Zilla wants Jacob Zuma out, we will vote with her. If Jacob Zuma wants Helen Zilla out, we will vote with him. What about principles, Mr. Malema? Don't they come into it? Principles? Principles must stay in school where they belong. I'm talking about... What a clown! Uh-oh. I wouldn't use that word, Mrs. Zilla, if I were you. Oh, Poopal, we could be sued. Clown, 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 Pupo. clown. Pupo. Oh, Lord, Pupo. not again. Goodbye. Do you think we have to apologize to the voters now? No, no, it's okay, Debra. They're politicians. They can call each other anything. You can insult them, it's okay. Politicians, celebrities, they're fair game. But voters, uh-uh. You can't call them names. So we can't call voters clowns or purples? Uh-uh, no. And puppets? Can we call the voters puppets? We, the puppets? Well, I guess it all depends on the context. Well, in the context that every voter's got an ass and that every politician has a hand, they just love to put up the voters' asses. Is it okay then to call the voters puppets? Um, just better not. Okay. Puppets. Hmm?